Hi guys, here's how to bring your 3D creation into Outspace regardless of what 3D program to use in just 3 major steps. Let's go! Install the Unity Hub. After that, search for and install Unity 2019.4.2 through the Unity Hub. After you have installed the correct Unity version, go to File, Built Settings, Android. Download and install the Android package if it's not already installed. Download and keep the Outspace Uploader package because you're gonna have to use this package over and over again for every export. Go to this particular URL to create your universe if you have not already done so. And then proceed to click Create World. Finally, go to this particular URL to create your kit. When you are done, take note of the series of numbers that you are seeing here. Perhaps even make a copy of it somewhere. Now that all the initial preparation works are done, it is time for the actual model to outspace exporting process. Step 1. Settling everything inside Unity. Export your creation from your program of choice to the FBX format. If you happen to be a Blender user, it is perhaps a point of intrigue to know that Unity could read Blender's file format natively, so that's that. Drag the resulting FBX files into the Assets folder here, and then up here. Drag in all the texture files into the Assets folder as well. Right-click on the balls and click Extract from Prefab to make the materials editable. This is the time you will spend reassigning the textures to their rightful place for your mesh. Perhaps even play the shaders if you're up for it. In my particular case, since I texture baked all my materials inside Blender, there is nothing left for Unity to do here except for just being an exporter. In fact, I so don't care about Unity's lighting capability that I just use the least processor intensive, absolutely minimum resource shader, the unlit texture shader. Assign colliders to the various objects in your scene. Just take note that not everything have to have it. It's up to your discretion. Assign traversable areas to layer 14 to allow Outspace Navigator to interface with it properly. You are now done with step 1. Save your work now and make a backup of the entire project folder before continuing. It is very important that you do so. Do it. Step 2. Dealing with the uploader. Drag the Unity Outspace uploader into the Asset folder and hit Import. You will see an Outspace button in the main menu bar. Click that and click Build Settings. Continue offline. Choose Template for Complete Scenes or Kit for Smaller Individual Trinkets. I'm going to demonstrate the kit building process here because it is slightly more common for people to use kits to populate a scene gradually over time as opposed to building everything as a whole at one go. Type in the strange series of numbers that I've told you to make a note of previously, along with a description of your kit here and here. Click this button and everything will disappear, since you have already made a backup of your project folder. No harm is done here. Click this button and then click Build. A zip file will be generated after the build process. Back on the website, click the Edit button. Upload the zip file and click Update Kit. Step 3. Bringing it all in. Open Outspace and go to your world. Open up your world editor and navigate to the Kit section as shown here. Click the gear icon and set its position and coordinates. You might have to experiment a little bit here. And you are done! Now that you are empowered with this knowledge, 
Go forth, learn a 3D modeling program, and begin building your own world. And if you see me in outspace, just scream BRACER and come give me a hug. I would also like to take this time to thank Matthew Manzini, whom I have met in outspace. Without his help, I would never have been able to understand this process as quickly as I did. Thank you, Matthew. And to all my subscribers, I will see you all next week. This is Bracel Jack, signing off.